Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In the last video, I've shown you how to calculate the electronic density of state of aluminum crystal. And, uh, but, but sometimes you may want to calculate uh, the contribution from a certain orbital or a certain type of atom uh, of the density of state. Um, so in that case, you may want to calculate the projected density of state. And in this video, I'll, I will show you how to do this kind of calculation. So the first two steps are the same as the normal density of state calculation. You need to first uh, do a self-consistency self calculation for the wave function, and then to do a non-self-consistency -self calculation for a denser k point. And then the third step, instead of doing a uh, density of state calculation using dos dot x, we use the project wave function dot x to calculate the projected uh, density of state. And after that, you will see a lot of uh, a lot of files generated, and we can sum up the, the density of states uh, using using this command here. And and then we plot everything using GNU plot. Okay, so let's get started. The first step is the wave function calculation. Um, just for a demonstration pro uh, purpose, I change the Bravais lattice to be one, that is the simple cubic lattice, and then I explicitly write the four atoms for the FCC lattice here. Yeah, so there there, uh, there will be four atoms per unit cell, uh, but but still it's it is just the FCC lattice if you if you uh, draw it in the hex crystal, and everything else is the um, is the same as before, and uh, we uh, also need a smearing term because because this is a uh, uh, metal. So we run the calculation. Yeah, and then in the meantime, we can take a look at the input file for the second uh, step, that is the non-self-consistency calculation. And um, basically it's the same as, as the self-consistency calculation, it's just that I increased the, uh, increased the k-point density to a um, a very large density because we want to calculate density of state and this is necessary. So uh, we run the calculation of the second step. So the first step has uh, has been done. Okay, yeah. And then let's uh, I will show you the first and uh, the third step and that is the calculation of the projected density of state. Uh, the input file looks like this. It's very simple. Um, you need to keep the prefix and uh, output directory to be consistent with the last two steps, and um, and this field pdos uh, defines the name of the output uh, file, so so this is something important, and this is uh, optional. You can you can also de delete that. Okay, so the se second step may take uh, a little bit longer. Okay, so now it's finished, and then we want to do the uh, third step. And for the third step, we need to change the uh, change the program to project uh, wave function dot x and three and out. Okay. So after the third step, you will find there there are a lot of files generated, all starting with the name specified in the um, in this field pdos here. Yeah, so everything starts with uh, al dot pdos dot that. That's exactly what you see here, and then the thing afterwards means that uh, this is the um, uh, the contribution from the first aluminum atom and um, and the s orbital. And this means uh, the first aluminum atom on the p orbital, and the second alum uh, aluminum atom on the s orbital, and second aluminum atom on the p orbital. Yeah, and then since we are interested in the in the uh, sum of the of all of the um, aluminum atoms on the s orbital, what you can do is to use this uh, line here. To basically generate the density of state uh, from the s orbital, and for that, we can modify the command s here. Okay, 
And then we, we want, want to also generate another file for the p orbital of all of the aluminum atoms. And then uh, there is a, one thing left that we want to generate the total tensile state from the aluminum atoms. Yeah, so that is this uh, command here. Okay, yeah. So now everything is done. We can run the GNU plot to plot the uh, uh, density of state. And uh, so everything is more or less familiar from you. And uh, so one thing is that um, I also plot the Fermi energy here. And uh, the Fermi energy is 7.94. That comes from the output file of the non-self-consistency -self calculation here. OK. And then I also plot uh, plot uh, density of state from the p orbital, density of state from the s orbital, and density of state of the like the total density of state in one plot. And uh, let's see what we get out. So GNU plot four. Okay. So this is the result. As you can see, this is the s orbital, this is the p orbital, and this, uh, and this is the sum that is the total density of state, and this is the Fermi energy. Okay, so in this video, I've shown you how to calculate the project, projected tensile of state. And in case you have more type of atoms, you can also um, uh, use the same way to calculate projected tensile of state of, uh, on, on different type of atoms. For example, aluminum, or you change it to oxygen, and for different uh, orbitals. Okay, so thank you for watching. If you liked my video, please uh, press like or subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you next time.